Good afternoon, everybody. Seraph here with some more scrap mechanic. Yep, I'm back, and I actually have been able to work on some stuff while I was gone. Yeah, I'm here, and I'm working on stuff, and actually, I got distracted with the car AI. So, basically what I've been doing for this last month or so is building different cars. Um, just making a whole bunch of different protocar, proto, prototype, <laughs> protocar types. Um, that all have different sensors and all can follow this sort of track very well. I just spent about 10, 15 minutes making this thing over here, this track. So that's nice. I've got that down to almost a T. I don't have any checkpoints yet or any like logic on the track yet set up, but I'll do that after. I just want to do a quick video about the cars that I've made because that's the most development I've done. Um, I've named them final, all the different prototypes. So this, my second car, I guess, that I made was this gyro car, which really isn't a gyro car. I was... This is kind of like a prototype car, but it works just as well as like the rest of the cars. Um, it goes forward, except for this gyroscope that was going to be up here that allows you to like keep track of which fa direction it's facing, which is what I was going to make a car for, which would have been pretty cool in my opinion. But that didn't work out so well because I ran out of time and ran out of ideas, but I kind of want to start that up soon. So instead of doing a gyroscope, I decided to do another car called the modded car which was based off of the final um, sensor car, only without the gyroscope and without the shell, the giant or the body that I put it on it. <laughs> so like this is basically all it is. It has different sensors. It faces another way and it turns a little bit sharper and uses an engine instead of the motors thing. So these next cars all have motors or engines instead of the rotation. So that's what I like about these. And then probably my, not my best car, but my most interesting or intricate car is this sensor car over here, which uses different forms of distance and direction to depend on how sharp it turns. Um, these all aren't perfect, of course, um, but it's okay because I will fix them as they come up. But this one works. I put this little hat on top of it to see if it'll be it'll fit well in a checkpoint, and it really doesn't. So I need to figure out how to make this car smaller. I might need to move all these things down one and make it wider by one, or at least be within these wheels right here. So I'll probably do that, but this is basically the car prototypes that I've made, which are, I think, pretty well. Um, yeah, so there's four different prototypes now instead of this, the one that I showed you that had different colors. I will paint them soon and probably release them at some point, but right now I just want to show off what I have and how they work. I think, and also somebody told me to try to see how many cars I can get on a track at a time, and that causes some extreme lag. I mean, I'm sure you know that, and I know that. Everybody knows that it's going to cause lag with the more moving parts and just functional collisions going around. So if there's a way to optimize that, that would be cool. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But for now, I have a car that can pretty much take turns like a pro, and it avoids hitting walls by backing up, except for this front wheelie, whatever it's called, nollie that it does. Not nollie. Um... Wow, what was it called? Front wheelies. Interesting. Um, so yeah, so basically this can turn and avoids obstacles very well. It doesn't do really well on straights because it tends to like to go back and forth, but it does straighten out eventually, I think. I might need to put yellow lines down the middle to kind of straighten the cars out, just some at some point, kind of like a little checkpoint straightener outer right there. But this is essentially what it does, and it's pretty cool. Um, the other cars are actually still going around, and I'll show you guys these as well. So this is a pretty big track. This is a 12 checkpoint track, um, one for each little section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, and so forth. So I'll, I'll actually connect the track soon and get another video of that separately out, hopefully sooner than later. It might be next week or maybe this Thursday or so. But I just wanted to show off these cars. So this is the car that you've already seen. I just decolorized it to make it generic like the other ones. Um, and this is probably unnecessary right here. But this is the other car, the modded car. It's much faster than this one because it uses an engine. And um, I really don't need these flaps, I don't think. But it's to prevent flipping. So I guess I do need the flaps. And this car is also actually has a gyroscope on it. Or this is a gyro car, actually. Not the modded one. But you can see like when it turns, this turns. And that's what most... I mean, that's what all the gyroscope functions things do nowadays that people have with, like, self-riding vehicles or flying things that can stay straight up. 
So I'm trying to basically go for that, only maybe make a track that tells you which direction it should turn and then have free range on everything else. So there's no like these annoying lines that kind of limit its turn range. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, I'm trying to think, have I been working on anything else? Uh, and scrap mechanic? I'm not sure actually. I did make a flying car. Let me check through this thing. I kind of uh, modded another car. Uh, a G. Oh, it's the starting block thing. I did make a starting block that only works with a certain type of car. And that is, um, I believe it's the modded gyro car that it works with only. So I need to figure out how to make it portable for more than one type of car in case you want to race more than one type of car, which would be interesting. And see, we already have a broken car right here going backwards now because it got flipped around. So I need to figure out how to fix that stuff. And as well as this car right here, which is about to collide with another car. And they just collided, but it's okay because this one stops when it hits another car, I think. Maybe not. I actually don't know what it's doing right now. What the heck? That was quite unfortunate. That put them back by a lot. So yeah, these are racing cars, everybody. I mean, it's pretty cool. I got distracted there by the <laughs> messed up cars. And I believe we just saw another collision. But that's okay. Um, But yeah, this is the starting block that I've made. It is, it's pretty functional, I think. Let me just put it down here. If I can make it not lag when it hits the ground. Oops. Alright. There. So this is essentially just, you know, it has a little lights right here. And these, this, you're supposed to really set up a car on top of it. I believe the, Jude, the blue gyro car. Or just... This is a little bit unorganized of a video because I kind of wanted to rush this out really quick and get something out. Which is really uncharacteristic of me because I like to get quantity or quality over quantity. But I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded, and so I just want to make sure I got something for you guys out. So this is what I've been working on, I think. I'm not sure if this is the right... Is this the right car? This should be the right car. Maybe it's not. Maybe it isn't. Hold on a second. You have to put it at like a certain sweet spot so it doesn't move. Okay, yeah, so it is the right car. So I have some lag because of some probably weird collisions going on on the track. Um, but yeah, so pretend there's one, two, three, four, five cars already set up and it's a simple just timer switch thing. You just flip the switch and it goes red and then goes to yellow after some time and then it goes green and lets all the cars go and then they all start at the same time. So that's one way to do a five car start if you want to race five cars at a time. I think it doesn't lag too much when there's five cars until they actually run into each other. So that's the one problem I have with what I've got. And also this sensor car is has not tipped over or gotten stuck yet. It's just reverse direction. So that's why I want to like implement the gyroscope so I know it's not going the wrong direction. But anywho, that's that's for another time. Um but yeah. Scrap mechanic. It's been really fun. It's been an interesting game. I have not had any other game suggestions yet, so that's been kind of disappointing. But I think I think I'll get one from somebody soon and I'll be able to play it for you guys. I'm gonna probably bring back bring back uh prison escape escapists, probably. They've had a little update there. I kinda wanna play that a little bit. It's been a while and I haven't played that much to get a lot of experience. Prison Architect will be back. I will start doing another escape mode video soon because for some reason that's been been a popular thing lately so i want to keep to you guys' attention and keep doing good stuff so thanks for watching as always i hope you have a great morning night afternoon or evening and as always i will see you next time All right, this is the post video video. I forgot to uh, show you my flying car. I named it like G3 or something like that, right? Maybe not if it wants to freeze on me. This, is, this isn't fortunate at all. Come on, you know, scrap mechanic. Okay, there we go. So basically, this is that G2 car that I saw in the workshop and I've modded it myself to uh, 
give me what I want, aka fly. Um, which is kind of hilariously stupid because why? Like it doesn't really fly super well, but it does fly though. I mean, look at this. It's nice and it can even rotate. I haven't have any. I don't know how to turn it yet. I'll figure that out later. But I can rotate and and kind of do its little gyroscope thing with the stupid wheel in front. So I need to figure out a better way to do that. But it does. It does fly. <laughs> yeah, that was a quick shorty uh, post video fun showcase. Anyways, yeah, so now this is going to fly forever, and I will probably lose it on this map, which I don't want to do. No, 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 no. Shoot, I want to try and keep, try to minimize lag on this lap, because I want to make this like the official race test track. Dang it. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm, I mean, I did, so <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.